All right, welcome back everyone. We are just one day away from the ringing in of the new year. And if you haven't yet decorated, uh, our next guest has some quick and easy do it yourself decor ideas. And the best part here is that we get to reuse our Christmas stuff. Joining us live is DIY expert and creator of the effortlessgirl.com, Julie Lovin. Julie, great to see you. Good morning. Happy almost new year. Yes. What a great set that you have there. Let's start. Um, you know, a lot of people, it's interesting because especially here in LA, not sure if a lot of people are going to be having gatherings, but doesn't wow. mean we can't decorate even if we just have two or four people around the house. Let's start with centerpieces. Absolutely. New Year's Eve is a, is a occasion to celebrate no matter what, but the centerpieces are so, so simple. I just took, uh, I robbed my tree and use gold and silver ornament and filled a decorative base. You can fill decorative bowls, add a little bit of plastic beaded garland, and you have a centerpiece or a beautiful mantlescape. And it's just so simple. You've literally just put ornaments in a bowl. So that's anybody can do that DIY. Yeah, pretty much free at that point too. Exactly, <laughs> Moving it from exactly. the living room to the kitchen area or the dining. Okay, so next, Absolutely. how do we repurpose the tinsel garland? So we, you can make um, these, giant, everybody has uh, cardboard boxes right now laying around. I just cut 2022 20, out of the boxes and wrapped them in um, garland and tinsel. All garland and tinsel right now, if you don't have this, is deeply discounted at any dollar store. And these are great little photo props or just to hold and shake at the new year. And the texture on the cardboard, I think, is beautiful. And this could also be free if you already have the tinsel, because you definitely have cardboard boxes lying around right now. You do, but there is no way I would be able to cut a number two <laughs> just like you did. It's no way. It's not hard. It's <laughs> not hard at all. All it right. It doesn't have to be perfect because the tinsel will cover up any mistake that you make. That's true. That's a good point. All right. So let's yep. talk about this. Yep. We love the iconic ball drop, but we can't all be there. So you're saying to use Christmas right. lights to relocate, uh, recreate that. So um, I made Christmas orbs earlier in the Christmas season. All you do is take a punch balloon and wrap it in twine and glue and then pop the balloon when it dries and that makes your um, ball drop. And then you put it on a pipe. I'll have this whole how-to on my oh. website with some Christmas lights. I'll take this piece of tape off and then um, take them from your tree or decoration that you have and then just put them on a pulley and lower the ball at midnight and the flashing lights and flashing 2022 mm -hmm. and then right here it's just up and down and you can use this ball year after year after year it's just a pipe from the hardware store and a piece of wood simple easy it looks a lot harder than it is to make yeah. but how fun is that and you can just the ball can go up and down as many times as you want it's just like a curtain pulling yeah and the kids will love doing that as well you know it's one thing fun. i do i have noticed is your headwear uh is that something that you created as well it is. This is just a headband that you have, or you can mm -hmm. pick up some from the dollar store. Actually, everything today is from the dollar store, so you're not splashing out a lot of money. You've already done that for the holidays. But take um, a headband and glue a party hat on. I glued some pencil and some adhesive rhinestones with paper straws. Those are also from the dollar store. There's a Starburst headband that I made with just little adhesive stars. There's what I'm wearing again right there or you can use a party hat and just tape it on to a headband that you have, wrap it in tinsel, and you're ready to party. All right, and as we wrap this up, let's repurpose uh, ornaments for our jewelry. Okay, so you can do this two ways. I'm wearing beaded garland with a tie in it. You could do a double-stranded necklace, and then add, um, I just took hoops that I had, hooked them on to miniature ornaments that I already had on my tree, and they're perfect little holiday earrings well, they're very festive fantastic. they go with your headband they do i know it makes me want to like <laughs> have a little party but you're much more creative I know. but all your information julie is on your website thank you so much and happy yes. new year thanks and happy hi to your new daughters new you. for us <laughs> <laughs> thank you all right for more diy ideas and information on julie you can visit her website effortlessgirl.com or follow her on social media kai goldberg we got to get uh decorating it's yeah coming up soon it's about that time i love the the homemade ball drop that was my favorite one